Hey guys, this is Odon Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. So it has finally begun. The free to play 2024 series has started and I'm really excited about it. And I'm really thankful to Hell Hades for organizing this. And it's, it's just it's just amazing to see how many creators are involved. There's basically like 50 creators. Plus, I'm hoping to see a ton of you people from the community joining us in this challenge. And I'm going to have a link, I guess, to uh, Hell Hades page and to his live stream that he posted last night where myself you know basically as one of the captains plus the other ones were live on a stream on youtube we it was like a one hour stream so you can definitely go check it out we basically drafted our people as in we spend the you know we spun the wheel and see what we could get but yeah it was definitely really fun make sure you go check it out and if you just if you want to go and check it out and you don't want me to spoil it then i guess pause and go past this one but spoiler alert my team is a uh, uh, Kriot, I think I, I might be butchering the name, but uh, his name is K-R-E-U-T-Z, Kretz. Then uh, I'm Roadblock, Ski Asterix, Red Blade, and drumroll please, Mad Capper. Yep, that's Team Odd One. We still need to have a, you know, we still need to find a, a name for our team and whatnot. We're going to discuss that in my Discord. Still need to, if anybody knows Kriot, K, uh, like I say, K-R-E-U-T-Z, Please try to reach out to him and tell him to DM me on Discord. I'm trying to grab him so we can have the full team ready and continue discussing that. But yeah, it's going to be a fun challenge. It's going to be pretty interesting. And I'm definitely looking forward to this and seeing how much I can grind this season. And the uh, first thing I want to say again, if you guys want to join, make sure to uh, do that. And if some of you want to help me out, I will be using a referral, but not from my free to play account. Okay, so just to clarify, this is not allowed. You're not allowed to have referrals to uh you know to self-refer your free-to-play account i tried to self-refer from my main account to the free-to-play like five six seven times and then i just gave up i'm basically two away on my main account from getting a uh, chronum so if anybody wants to join and wants to help me out make sure to use my link that i'm gonna put in the description so that i can finally get chrono and like i said two away two away we really appreciate it but how does this one start? How did I start? What's going to be my focus? How, how am I going to do it this season? Well, one thing that I'm going to want to mention for those of you that saw the one in 2023 is I'm not going to be building a shield guard this time around. I'm going to go a different route and I already have some fun ideas and, and uh, tips and tricks and, you know, some, some good things that I'm hoping is going gonna, is gonna to help me progress pretty fast. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know what, I'm going to have fun. It's not going to be about just me, like how far I progress. It's going to be a fun teamwork, especially because like i said there's like 50 of us there's eight teams of uh six people if i saw that right let me just double check again so okay the teams actually there's nine so there's eight teams of six people but then there's a 90 ninth team which is the faithless group but there's chosen sham uh dark day infection and a mystery person we're gonna find out who the last one is so what did i start my account with well my starter was Kale, okay, I went with Kale because it has been a while since I actually uh, played with Kale. Like for my main account, I actually started with uh, Gaelic, then I had another series where I did uh, Aethel, then I had another one where I did with Elhain. So I just wanted to go back to Kale to see is he still one of the best ones. And I still believe he is. And not just, you know what, most of the time people say about Kale, yeah, he's the best one because he has poisons on the A1 and poisons on the A3. It's not just that, compared to every single other one, his A2 has the same thing, 15% extra chance to crit, but this is the amazing part about his A2, okay? Fills the third meter of this champion by 25% for each enemy killed. This basically makes it so much easier for him to be a campaign farmer, like the only one that can compare to him at that would be Elhane because she has two AoEs, and obviously if you pair that with the Masteries, that uh, has, what is it, uh, this one has a chance to reset the cooldown of your skills, uh, El Hain can just be the best one campaign farming. But the good thing about him is he can be a specialist in several things. Like I said, he can be your campaign farmer specialist. He can be a poisoner for the demon lord, for, for dragon, and then even as an arena nuker later on. So that's why I chose to go with Kale. And then when it uh, came to the epic, I went with Deacon because I had a community tab where you guys voted and I had three options. Mordecai, Deacon, and Lady Quillen. And most of you voted for Deacon, so that's what I stuck with because you know what? This this is uh, mostly really fun because of you guys watching and you guys participating. So I wanted to keep to my word. If I had the choice, honestly, 
for uh, the way that you know if, if let's say you start playing the game and you start doing today if my cho if i had the choice the person that i would have gone with would have been miscreated master okay the code is it's alive uh, there's a there's a link to hell hades website if you go over there they have a page dedicated to showing all the promo codes that work for new you know for people that start new and whatnot so that's definitely one of the better ones if not the best ones from my point of view when it comes to the epics it's between like him deacon and mordecai but the reason why i like him so much he brings eye protection which is amazing early on for demon lord he brings stun and shields then stun on a1 he's just a unit he also has the crazy aura for arena which makes you be able to survive in arena so that's what I would have picked. But like I said, community spoke and I went with, uh, just went with Deacon because that's what you guys voted. So what the, what have I been doing? Well, basically my main goal and the main goal for anybody starting playing the game, if you're just starting now or if you watch this video in six months, in a year, your goal should be to get your first six star. And for me, it's 100% going to be my campaign, uh, my my starter, my rare Kale, because he's just going to be good. The reason why you want your first six star is because you want to get to campaign brutal 12-3, okay? That's the main goal, to get over here so you can start farming 12-3, which is the best spot to get uh, XP plus some silver per energy spent. That's, that's the goal. So, yeah, that's what I was focusing on. And... Uh, <clears throat> I guess I'm just gonna let a little cut through now because I did I did record something just before I started doing this whole recording so I actually did uh, end up pulling a void shot so for those of you that were not paying attention you're gonna see it now okay so this is something weird that I'm actually recording before the whole intro that I've done and it should be somewhere in the middle of this video but I got to a point where I'm a little bit stuck and I don't know exactly how to proceed properly and I basically it has me having to pull a shot the reason what I'm talking about is Behind me over here, we have the missions. This is what I usually do. I think I've already mentioned this in the video. Missions and challenges, I always try to follow these along, push as far as I can and whatnot. And right now I'm stuck at this. Upgrade four champions to level 40. And uh, well, I only have two. I have three more that I can level up. I have two, what, one, two, three more champions at four stars. So this might take me a while and uh, I cannot farm consistently in normal stage three. So I, I'm still not, don't want to farm this one because it do, just does not make sense. It's, it's not efficient at the end of the day. And I think that what I'm gonna have to do is just rely on the brews that I actually have. So I have a few brews, I have specifically the void one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna pull this void chart and whatever comes out of it, this is gonna be one of my uh, level 40s and then the other one is gonna have to be Death Hound, which I'm gonna be using for the clan boss for a little bit because he has a poison on the A2 guaranteed, I mean not guaranteed, you need accuracy. But he can do, go down to a two, uh, two, two turns cooldown. So he's going to be my third four star. The reason why I'm doing this and not five starting and ignoring the missions is because the next thing, if I remember correctly, on the second page, on the part two of the Arbiter missions, is going to be take a champion to five star. And that's where my kill is going to come in. So you know what? Let's pull the void. Let's see. Can I get a good void raider or rare that's actually going to be worth keeping? If not, he's going to be later on a uh, five star chicken because he, I'm going to take whatever I pull, I'm going to take to level four. 40 on void so come on let's see can i start with some luck there's a 15 times i don't really care about these two honestly i'd prefer a good rare like a bellower cold heart would be nice obviously some of those ones so let's see what's it gonna be what is it going to be okay rare and okay it's gonna be a five uh five star check and marquise pretty useless decrease speed on the a1 not too good counter attack and continuous heal on himself uh aoe attack with sleep i might actually use him for faction wars but yeah I guess that was my uh, first voice chart. Not the best, but it is what it is. I guess I'm just going to be back once uh, with the whole video. <laughs> so, see you in a bit. Okay, so yeah, the, the rare that the void that actually pulled was Marquise. Like, I don't see, honestly, a reason to keeping him. He doesn't bring much. Decreased speed can be interesting. AoE can be interesting. But after that, I did manage to... I did actually pull a Marquise as well, which can be good as a campaign... Uh, not campaign, Faction Wars Farmer, okay? Because she has that AoE. <clears throat> and whatnot but you know what at the end of the day this marquise helped me pass that stage because of the void bruise that i had and uh, i managed to get him to level 40 plus the other ones you can see that's my full team of 40s so i could pass that mission uh i have no more bruise left <laughs> like that's it i used everything just so i can do that and now guess what happened okay i was saying about it let's go back to the missions what did i say the f the second uh, quest or like the second mission on this progress mission on part two is 
upgrade a champion to rank 5. So that's why I did not want to rank my Kale, because unfortunately, unless they changed it, this one's not attractive. Like, I'm curious to see if Hell Hades, because I, I know he already has the 5 star, I'm not sure if he got here, but I'm curious if this is retroactive for him or not. So basically, uh, what I'm gonna do right now is uh, War Priest is gonna have to be fed because I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna use her. Like I'd rather use somebody like Iraktooth because he has a heal reduction that can help me with the Spirit Keep, whereas uh, War Priest is just not, just not good enough. So let's see, my fight, my first four star. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you where I got this four star chicken from. So let's go, boom, boom, uh, remove and sacrifice. The good thing is we're lucky that this weekend we have a uh, free gear removal going on right now. So that's that's pretty awesome. <clears throat> and by having that, it, it means we can just keep swapping and removing gear left and right. So for example, I don't know what gear I have on my people, but uh, I, I just want to save it because there might be some challenges and progress missions that require you to do it. So let's see. <sighs> okay, let's go. I hope I'm not feeding somebody that I need. Nope, there we go. And boom, there we go. Kale is my five star. I passed this point and now I'm just going to keep carrying on. And basically the main goal, <clears throat> from my point of view, if you're starting the game, is follow the progress missions. 99% of the time, they give you a pretty clear idea of what you should focus on in order to progress your account. So progress missions are really important, but at the same time, do not ignore the challenges. I repeat, do not ignore these because some of these are pretty annoying, pretty hard. They require some pretty specific and stupid things to do. Where do you have to do it on specific things? You can see I'm already part 7 of 10 because I did the previous ones. They required me to farm a specific piece of gear that had a specific main stat on normal stage specifically. I wish Raid changed this and adapted it to 2024 where it should be like stage normal or higher, but it's not. So make sure you do that. And sometimes these are going to just match up with what you're actually doing in a progress mission. So I pushed a little bit with champions. I did a little bit with dungeons. This one might actually be tough, but I'm going to try to get, you know, some summons. I'm going to try and get some stuff and possibly I'm going to do another video tomorrow on the free to play see uh, on this one and i think i'm gonna feature if i'm gonna be pulling any ancients in that one so yeah i guess i'm gonna leave it at this and just I, i'm gonna try and keep them not to be extremely long maybe somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes i'm also gonna try and see what i can do to do a collab the, with the whole team or if not at least with uh you know one with, with them one by one just to try and have a chat see how it is see what people what plans people have what strategies we have and whatnot and yeah, it's going to be a fun journey. Hope you guys are going to follow along. Hope you're going to enjoy it. There's tons of us doing this and it's definitely going to be a blast. But anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, if you do enjoy my content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.